In the previous lecture, we had discussion on the condition for symmetry in two port networks and uh, now we are going to have discussion on the condition for reciprocity in two port networks and uh, we will first try to understand what are reciprocal two port networks and then we will find out the condition for reciprocity. A network is said to be reciprocal if the ratio of response to the excitation remains the same when the positions of response and excitation are interchanged. Very simple to understand and uh, now we will find out the condition for reciprocity and uh, for this I have taken this two port network and uh, we will excite this two port network by the help of one voltage source which I will connect between the two terminals of port number one and let's say this voltage source is providing the voltage equal to Vs so Vs is our excitation and the response is the current flowing after short circuiting the port number two and let's say the current is I2 prime so I2 prime is the response, Vs is the excitation and therefore the ratio of response to excitation will be equal to I2 prime over Vs and uh, now we will interchange the positions of response and excitation while having the same two port network and therefore this time I will connect the voltage source providing voltage Vs between the two terminals of port number 2 and I will short circuit port number 1 and current I1 prime will be our response and Vs is the excitation therefore ratio of response so the excitation will be I1 prime over Vs in case number 2 and for this two port network to be reciprocal I2 prime over Vs should be equal to I1 prime over Vs. So this is the condition for reciprocity in two port networks and this condition is an important condition and therefore I want you to remember this condition. And now we are going to obtain the condition for reciprocity in terms of Z parameters. We are going to obtain the condition for reciprocity in terms of Z parameters. And uh, we know the two equations we have in case of Z parameters. Equation number one is V1 equal to parameter Z11 multiplied to I1 plus parameter Z12 multiplied to I2. Let's say this is equation number one and equation number two is V2 equal to parameter Z21 multiplied to I1 plus parameter Z22 multiplied to I2 and this is equation number two. And uh, when you focus on case number one you will find we have V1 equal to Vs and you can see that current I2 is equal to minus I2 prime. Current I2 is equal to current I2 prime with negative sign and you can see that voltage V2 is equal to zero. Why? Because here we are short circuiting port number two and therefore V2 will be 0 and uh, with this I will rewrite our equation number 1 and we will have voltage Vs equal to Z11 multiplied to I1 minus Z12 multiplied to I2 prime and let's say this is our third equation and uh, we will also rewrite equation number 2 and we will have 0 equal to Z21 multiplied to I1 minus Z22 multiplied to I2 prime and from here we can have current 
i1 it will be equal to parameter z22 over parameter z21 multiplied to current i2 prime let's say this is equation number four we are trying to calculate i2 prime over vs and therefore in equation number three in place of i1 we will put this from equation number four and after that we will perform few simplifications to have i2 prime over vs so in the next step we will put i1 from equation number four here in the third equation and doing so we will have voltage vs equal to parameter z11 multiplied to parameter z22 over parameter z21 multiplied to current i2 prime then we have minus z12 multiplied to current i2 prime and uh, you can see that i2 prime is common and therefore after taking i2 prime common we will have vs equal to the determinant of impedance matrix divided by parameter z21 multiplied to current i2 prime so finally we can have the ratio of response to the excitation equal to the parameter z21 over the determinant of impedance matrix now we will find out i1 prime over vs and when you focus on case number two you will find v2 is equal to vs voltage v2 is equal to vs and you can see that current i1 is equal to minus i1 prime current i1 is equal to minus i1 prime and you can see that voltage v1 is equal to zero now with these we will rewrite our equation number two and equation number one from equation number two we will have voltage vs equal to minus z21 multiplied to current i1 prime plus z22 multiplied to current i2 and let's say this is our equation number five and uh, from equation number one we will have zero equal to minus z11 i1 prime plus z12 current i2 and from here we will have current i2 equal to z11 over z12 multiplied to i1 prime let's say this is our sixth equation and uh, we want i1 prime over vs and therefore in place of i2 in equation number five we will write down this so we are putting i2 from equation number six here in equation number five and doing so we will have voltage vs equal to minus z21 multiplied to i1 prime plus z22 multiplied to z11 over z12 multiplied to i1 prime i1 prime is common therefore we have vs equal to the determinant of impedance matrix over parameter z12 multiplied to i1 prime and from here we have the ratio of response to the excitation equal to parameter z12 over the determinant of impedance matrix and therefore we can say that for the two port network to be reciprocal z12 over the determinant should be equal to z21 over the determinant z 1 2 over the determinant should be equal to z 2 1 over the determinant or we can say that parameter z 1 2 should be equal to parameter z 2 1 so remember this important 
condition it is very important and using this condition we will find out the condition for reciprocity in terms of y parameters h parameters g parameters and a b c d parameters and i think we should do this in the next lecture so remember this condition and now i will end this lecture here see you in the next one